Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll create a sample Hello World application on App Engine using Google Cloud Platform GCP. For that, uh, I'd like to show you some of the steps that we will go through in this video. I'm going to open my notepad and show the, the steps. Here is the first step uh, that we need to enable Google App Engine Admin API. And then secondly, we need to download the Hello World app from the GitHub. As you can see, I have pasted here the link and the third we will change, we'll make some change and then finally we'll deploy our application. The commands that we will use in this video is gcloud app create and then gcloud app deploy and then finally gcloud app browse to browse and view our uh, hello world web application. So I'm going to open the app engine. I'm going to go to more products here and I need to choose the app engine in serverless section I'm going to go to the dashboard here we need to click create application uh, we don't need this kind of pop-up so if you if you see just click X button just create application and as you can see it's giving me a choice to select a region so I'm gonna just leave the default US central one and then next it will select a location it's setting a region now we need to wait a bit to continue So after we select the location, we need to open the act. We need to activate the cloud shell. We have to click this, but let's wait a bit. We need to see our application. As you can see, we have a Python language. Uh, if you want, you can change the language, Node.js, Java, Go, PHP, Net, or Ruby, or any other language. And we have a two uh, environments, standard and flexible. We will use the standard environment. I uh, will not use the flexible in this video. So let me all activate the cloud shell first. And then I will show you. If it doesn't allow you, you have to go to the app, uh, app engine admin API and en enable. In this case, I have already enabled it. Uh, it's really easy, just go, you can go and enable it. Font size, I'll say the medium. And then now, first and foremost, we need to download the, the this uh, Python docs samples from the GitHub copy. I will paste it in the comment section so you can also get and clone it. Now it's cloning. And now we have to go to this directory, as, as you can see, CD Python doc samples, app engine, standard Python 3, hello world. I'm going to copy this and paste here. And we are in this uh, directory. Now I can, for example, say ls and check what we have inside this hello world. We have app.yaml, main.py and main test.py. Uh, let's change the main.py, the content. I'm going to write nano uh, main dot pi and then I'm going to go to the below bottom and here you can see there is a line called hello world and uh, is it possible to make it more clear for you? Yeah, I think it's possible. Hello world will change this content to for example hello simple GCP and then we can just write Kelter O and just uh, enter and Kelter X and now we have changed it so now we can deploy it uh, using gcloud app deploy gcloud app deploy and we can authorize and just click yes 
it's now updating a service it's now uh, deploying so it will take a bit time after that we can check our hello world hello simple gcp application on app engine so as you can see there is a target url we can click and see it but we need to wait a bit so that um, it's now updating if you cannot see this you can also say gcloud app browse but basically you will see it setting a traffic now it's uh, it's done so you can just write for example gcloud gcloud app browse and click enter and you will see there is a link here as you can see you can just click this and you will see here hello simple gcp so this is our sample hello world application hello the simple gcp application on app engine using a standard environment so just play around with it and if you cannot uh, i have forgotten one uh the thing that uh, that we missed it at the beginning if you if if the app engine does not allow you have to go to app engine here uh, app engine admin api here app engine admin as you can see it, it it's already enabled in my case, but uh, in your Google Cloud Console, if it's if if it doesn't allow you, just you have to enable. You know, here it's as you can see, it's already enabled. API is enabled. If you see this is not enabled, just try to enable it, and then you have to start doing the the whole step at the beginning and then the the first. Okay, so this is all about it and this video. And you can see the hello simple GCP is working here. So thank you very much and see you in the next videos.